Hey guys, welcome back to Rudder Renovations where you'll be joining us for part of our fireplace remodel series. Today we'll be painting some old brass fireplace doors to bring them up to date and to save a little bit of money along the way. But if you'd like to continue in this series, we learn how to remove a brick heart that was next to the fireplace as well as built a built-in. So let's get started. To do that, you just look up and you'll see a bolt here and there, and we're going to go ahead and loosen those up to be able to take the doors off. My particular fireplace only had two bolts up at the top to remove the doors, but you might have some anchors in the bottom as well. Once you have the fireplace doors removed, you want to lightly scuff up all of the surfaces that the paint will be going on, that way it adheres properly. You can use either steel wool or I'm using 220 grit sandpaper. All right, to get the doors off, you can put it in a closed position and there's a little clip here that you push up. And when you do that, it will release the pin, the door. And then to get it out, you will have to close it lean it and then you can just pick it right out now the paint the frame you can either tape it off or if you flip it over there's a series of little screws if you take these screws off then you'll be able to open the frame and remove the glass so we'll do that real quick once I was finished sanding I hosed off all of the fireplace doors and then I wiped it down with a dry rag, ensuring that it was dry before I started to coat it with paint. The paint that I used was a Rust-Oleum product called High Heat Ultra. It was a semi-sheen finish and it typically has a barbecue pit on the front of it so you know that it can withstand the heat of the fireplace. When coating your fireplace doors, do many thin coats as opposed to a thick coat, that way it blends naturally. For the rest of the pieces of the fireplace door, I hung them from string in my garage and I spun them around so where I could paint all the different edges of them and I could use the light to see if I missed any spots. Once everything that was painted is dried, you can start the reassembly process and it might make it easier if you use a couple lights inside of your fireplace whenever you're bolting everything back up because it's hard to see inside. Once you have the housing attached to the fireplace, then you can go ahead and reinstall your doors. All right guys, I hope this was helpful for you. If you wanna check out the rest of the series for the fireplace remodel, feel free to continue on. If not, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, comment below. If you like it, like it. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Peace and God bless.